day 15 of owning the DeSoto. And this is not a DeSoto. Um, we got a 1960 Chrysler New Yorker that I found on Facebook Marketplace and I'm in Knott'sville, Tennessee. And this car is really worth the $1,300 I've paid for it. If any of you have seen this on Facebook, it's been for sale <laughs> six or nine months, some god awful long period of time. No takers. Um, but there's a lot of parts. I'm going to get the front fenders. I'll sell the grill, the front bumper, the ends in really better shape than my, my front uh, bumper and cap uh, for, on my DeSoto. Um, also going to have um, the toilet seats, which I love and I would love to put on my DeSoto, but it's technically not right for a DeSoto. So I won't be putting it on my car, but I'll make it available. Um, I'm with my friend e, who's got a 61 New Yorker, so he's actually going to be pulling a lot of parts off of this car too. We're going to get it back to his house. And uh, after we part it out, we're going to, uh, he'll need the glass for his four door. Uh, we're going to crush her um, and it's, life is going to be over, but the car is going to serve a purpose at least in terms of supporting two different restorations. So uh, again, day 15, day 15 of owning the DeSoto now means I'm also an owner of a 60 New Yorker, but only temporary owner because she's only got a life of about one more day. Using Dan's Advantage Towing in Knoxville, Tennessee. And he's going to load it from the back so that the front ends up uh, at the front of the trailer. So I think he may pull the car forward and then uh, drag it forward and then pick it up. We'll see how he does this. Yep, you're okay. You're fine. You're fine. You're okay. Yeah, we've only he's got to go up another foot, and we got enough trailer. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Look at the skill on this. Yay, it's on. Now all I have to do is strap her down. Oh my gosh, you have a nice collection of signs, like you said. Yeah. The 76 sign is awesome, so is the Mopar sign. What about the Pentastar? Oh my gosh, you have Pentastar and Dodge signs as well. Yeah, they when they changed their signage back in the 90s. Yeah. 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 Wow, I like the pedal cars too. Yeah, cool. So you do go picking with your friends. I do. Well, I got one friend that I pick with. And... Oh, this is what the little red express is what interested me yeah. when I heard what you had because. Yeah, it's uh, got 20,000 miles on it. 20,000. Uh, I've got the original wheels, but I, they're. Did you say your father bought this new? He did. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So 1979. Uh, my father had a 79. It was the, um, I forget, it was an Indian Californian package, uh, beige 
forget the name of it, but it had a really cool seating. But I love the quad headlights. That was the first year, I think, for the quad headlights. And your yeah, 78 had round. Yeah. Round. And a Viper. That's yeah. early. That's a 17. That's 17. That oh, it's the last year Viper. Yeah. When, I, that's not a 17. That's a 13. I bought it in 17. They, they got ridiculous on the prices. I, I just bought a new Charger last Wednesday. I traded in my C8 Corvette. Oh, and no. before that, I had a 2016 Challenger. Um, but I was curious on the sales numbers, so I went and I looked at the production figures and sales numbers. And in the last 12 months, they, they just sold, within the last year, out of Stellantis, out of FCA, a Viper. So there's still cars at dealers never being sold, have never been never sold, been have never been titled, and yeah. they go as a sales figure. There was even, a, uh, in last year, um, a Chrysler 200. And, oh, wow. and they haven't made those since 2014. Yeah. This is my favorite Coronet. It's a 68, 69, 70, it's and it's a, a Super B. Yeah, 70 Super B, 440, six-pack, yeah. four-speed. I was um, talking to somebody. Uh, who was it that I was talking to? Oh, the guy that I bought the, the Chrysler from, and he was explaining how expensive the front fenders are for the 70 Coronet, not because of restoring a Coronet, but restoring a, a, a Super, a tribute, a, a, a tribute, a tribute or, 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 a, or a Daytona, yeah. because it, um, Rover, not a Super Daytona, Bird. a Superbird, exactly, because it uses the same fender as the, yes, the Plymouth Satellite. Right. Right. But uh, that is a nice, I love the color. Is that Go Mango? Ah, shoot. Yeah, I, I think, well, that's what they called it on the Challenger yeah. in 2016. I think it's the same color. Maybe not metallic, but it's well, beautiful. I've got another one down there in the, fixing to go to restoration that's a, an original numbers matching car and it's a yeah. super track pack so there's only 108 or nine of them ever built yeah and it's beige with gold interior it's yeah. the ugliest car you've ever seen yeah that's not a pretty color beige on one of these this one here came out of the collection and local. and that's a challenger what you said a 71 or 72 70. i could tell there were no bumper guards on it and it's line uh it's sublime a, it's a six-pack four-speed oh, car wow. too i love the white matching. stripe on it yeah Bought that out in collection. The guy had a, a 69 Daytona. He had a 70 Superbird. He had a 71 Charger with a factory sunroof. He had a 70 Coronet RT. He, he had a bunch of nice cars. But this is a Roadrunner. So how do you like the uh, the Viper? I kind of nice. suit this one up. It's got it's got a belt motor in it. Now this though, this is a. It's a oh, it's, it's a Roadrunner, yeah. Uh, 70, 70 road a Roadrunner. Yeah, original 383 car, but it's got a, a you, you know, my, uh, my DeSoto that I bought two weeks ago has a 361, and I think the 361 isn't at the basis of the 383. It's the next generation was the 383. So I'm telling people my DeSoto is a muscle car. <laughs> you said you had a challenge. Yeah, this is a challenge. I can tell by the tail that it's at least 2014 or newer. 16. Oh, it's a Hellcat 16. I had, yeah, yeah see, you have a full-grown challenge. Mine, I always said, was a baby. It was a RT <laughs> shaker, six-speed transmission, but the 5.7 liter. And to me, I feel like a little emasculated fool no. next to a Hellcat. That's, they, they get to hit it out of the park with that body style. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's... I just bought the Charger um, because I'm old now and I want to have a reliable car that's going to get me around. And it's just, Corvette is just stupid to own. It's so ridiculously expensive to maintain and drive and operate. Um, and I decided I wasn't going to wait for the new Charger, even though I like the way it looks. It's two years away before they come out with a four-door. Yeah. And it's going to have a six-cylinder anyway. So I just bought a new one, 23, with the V6 yeah. in it. And it's the... Black top the one in there. It's got bucket yeah. seats and sliding. But but even for five hundred dollars, oh, you yeah. got you got your money's worth out of it because the grill and the fenders alone and the you know, yeah, the cab is all worth a significant amount of money. Yeah, I mean, it's a good truck. It's everything's there. Yeah. I bought it from a guy I used to work with that just got too old to fool with it. He never restored it. He took it apart. Typical story. Yeah, the car that uh, all these dreams and ideas of restoration and it goes to waste. Yeah. But but at least now it's in a good hands. You said that this was your other 70 uh, Coronet. This is a Super, Super B, B as well. And yeah. it's colored tan. Is that what? It's beige. Beige. Okay. Beige with gold interior. Numbers oh. matching car. 446 pack. Oh, four speed. look at the, 
but it's a super track pack car. A and super if, track if, for, if pack and four speed. They only made like 109 super track packs. Yeah. So it's a really rare car, especially the color combination. Yeah, I've never seen a beige one yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, what type of stripe did it, it have in the back? Stripe. Yes, it was does. it black or gold? The stripe. Uh, I think it was white. White. But I got the build sheet for it. Oh wow. Been, it may have been black. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I see black interior and white seats. So it was probably. I bet you it was black. But anyways, that is a cool, cool automobile. Yeah. So, yeah. Super track. Yeah, uh, power steering, power brakes, front disc brakes, 410 gears is what makes it a super track pack. Well, Brian, it's been a pleasure. Hey, yeah. I really has. Thank you oh, so man. much. It was nice to meet y'all. Um, so this is the other car that's getting restored. My friend, uh, uh, my buddy's car, it's a 61 New Yorker. And uh, that's what a lot of the parts are going to go into. But uh, right now we're going to dinner and we're taking the Imperial. Here we go in the Imperial. This is our finest Imperial. Styled for elegance. Styled for restrained good taste. Styled for drama. New, fresh, but traditional. Imperial is a car any man will be proud to pamper. The gun sight taillights that have always meant Imperial are a part of the long, level look of 1962. Moldings that crown the straight rear quarter panels sweep downward beneath the deck opening. subtle colors, in rich construction. Inside Imperial is an experience in luxury no other car will match. What will motivate Imperial's buyer? The knowledge that what Imperial has is real, but where other talk and claims may end, Imperial goes on with demonstrable differences that will always thrill the first-time driver and the long-time owner. A man who knows, who enjoys cars, will look forward always to the next opportunity to drive. For half the pride and pleasure of Imperial is found behind the wheel. This is the LeBaron four-door hardtop. Thunderbird 1965, as you'd expect, apart from all others. Enter the private world of Thunderbird. This is where elegant automotive trends are set, where your passenger can have the comfort of an optional reclining seat. Luxurious, thoughtful, unique in all the world. And Thunderbird offers even more exclusive advances. Sequential taillight turn signals point the way others will follow. Front disc brakes are standard too. There's a private world waiting for you to explore at your Ford dealer. All right, day 17 of owning the DeSoto, and uh, day 15 was picking up the Chrysler parts car. Day 16 was tearing the Chrysler apart. There's no video of me tearing the, the Chrysler apart. Uh, we were just too busy tearing the Chrysler apart. Uh, what, what, at the end of the day, was supposed to be crushing the car. We made such bad progress. We did, it was so hot. It was extremely hot. Plus, we were like in the middle of a yellow jacket nest. So we kept having to stop because of swarms of yellow jackets. And that would have all made very good YouTube content. But um, I, I didn't think to take any of that video. So, anyways, um, this is very boring content. This is me in the in the vehicle the ram uh, here driving back to Maine with my trailer so you can see on the trailer is the Chrysler um, as soon as I get home I'm gonna yank it off the trailer 
and uh, tomorrow I'll, I'll buy a Sawzall and I'll try to cut the front fenders off. Some of the bolts were really uh, difficult. Um, couldn't get the front bumper at all. I tried heat, um, couldn't get it off. Uh, it was so hot yesterday, I gave up. So that's why I, you saw the video of going out to dinner at the end of the day because that was in the review of the Chrysler New Yorker. That's all that I really had from yesterday in terms of production to show online here. Uh, but I'll, I'll, there'll be more video upcoming of um, the next step, getting these uh, parts off the Chrysler and crushing it. So end of day 17 video, that's it. That's all for today. All right. I'm still on day 17 of owning the DeSoto. Um, but I'm actually digressing a second or going off topic here. Uh, it's also negative day one for me owning a Dodge Charger. Um, I just, I bought a Dodge Charger and it's supposed to be at the lot. I haven't gotten home from my trip yet, but this is the dealer. And I was hoping I'd be able to see my car. I'm selling the Corvette well, I should say I sold the Corvette. I don't have it anymore. Uh, I didn't do many videos on it, so. But uh, this is uh, this is a picture of the Corvette. I had bought the car um, in 2022. Early, I ordered it in January of 2021, and um, so it's almost been like four years. I've been dealing with it and waiting for it and being on the allocations and. Uh, all that kind of good stuff but I don't know where my I can't find my Dodge Charger I they told me it was here and I don't see it oh uh, I'm thinking this video isn't gonna come out oh there's my Corvette So they have it on the lot. I thought they were gonna wholesale it. I don't want anybody locally buying that car. I don't wanna to have to see it. Oh well, um, I guess I'll just have to wait till tomorrow. Peyton, Peyton here is cleaning my new Dodge Charger. Now we know where it is, so we're gonna go take a look at it. <laughs> ah, there she is. My first car I bought from Paul was in 2010, and it was a black four-door Dodge Charger with a V6 and an all-wheel drive. So he said, 15 years later, you're, you're, you're coming full circle, full circle. Oh, wow. So it looks really good. Yeah, it, this, you know what, I love the fact, I don't even know if it's dual exhaust or not, but it just looks like it's dual exhaust. Even if it's fake, I'm happy. I think it is, too, actually. It, you if think? You no, nice. no kidding. Yeah, I, uh, he was, uh, wanted to sell me the 300 on the floor, but it's like, I kind of like the Charger better, so we found this one down in Massachusetts. Awesome. Should we only do videos of this right now? Well, another new car for me. I moved my last new car I ever buy. Uh, Dodge Charger 2023 so the 25s are all coming out any day now but uh, this is a two-year-old leftover model so low excise tax traded the Corvette got a great price on the Corvette and now is the time to get rid of the Corvette because the new ones are coming out and they're not doing a price increase so uh, that means my Corvette um, is really going to depreciate in value and uh, I didn't want to wait for the 20 25 or 26 charger four-door because it's too far off so anyways here she is gonna bring her home <laughs> 